My name is Kathleen. I'm 17 years old and I'm in 11th grade. My name is Caroline. I'm 14 years old and I'm in 9th grade. Let's learn English. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see a PowerPoint we made. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see a PowerPoint we made. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see a PowerPoint we made. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see a PowerPoint we made. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see a PowerPoint we made. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see a PowerPoint we made. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see a PowerPoint we made. We'll be sharing our screen so you can see a PowerPoint we made. 我们读的时候会先用正常速度读，再用慢速度读，并且有个中文翻译。当我们慢速度读的时候，你可以跟我们一起读。正常速度。In the 186th lesson, we talked about the Mid Autumn Festival. This is a festival where families gather together. It is celebrated on the 15th day of the eighth month of the Chinese lunar calendar. This is one of the most important holidays in Chinese culture. We talked about the history of the Mid Autumn Festival. During the Shang Dynasty, people first started celebrating the harvest during the autumn full moon. In the Northern Song Dynasty, the Mid Autumn Festival first officially began. In 2008, the festival officially became a Chinese public holiday, and people started getting the day off. Next, we talked about some Mid Autumn Festival traditions. One tradition is that people make and share mooncakes. Finally, we talked about other countries and fun facts. These are mainly East Asian countries, and one example is Korea. They celebrate by going to their hometown and having a feast with traditional foods. 慢速度 In the 186th lesson, we talked about the Mid Autumn Festival. 在第一百八十六节课里，我们讲了中秋节。This is a festival where families gather together. 这是一个家人团聚的节日 It is celebrated on the fifteenth day of the eighth month of the Chinese lunar calendar. 它是在阴阳历法第八月第十五天庆祝 This is one of the most important holidays in Chinese culture. 这是中国文化最重要的节日之一 During the Shang Dynasty, people first started celebrating the harvest during the autumn full moon. 在商朝时，人们开始第一次秋天满月时候庆祝丰收。In the Northern Song Dynasty, the Mid Autumn Festival first officially began. 在北宋时期，中秋节正式开始了。In 2008, the festival officially became a Chinese public holiday, and people started getting the day off. 在二零零八年，它正式成为了一个中国的公共节日，然后人们开始在这天放假了。Next, we talked about some Mid Autumn Festival traditions. 接着我们讲了一些中秋节的传统。One tradition is that people make and share mooncakes. 一个传统是人们会做还有分享月饼。Finally, we talked about other countries and fun facts. 最后我们讲了一些其他的国家还有有趣事情。These are mainly East Asian countries, and one example is Korea. These are mainly East Asian countries, and one example is Korea. These are mainly East Asian countries, and one example is Korea. These are mainly East Asian countries, and one example is Korea. These are mainly East Asian countries, and one example is Korea. These are mainly East Asian countries, and one example is Korea. These are mainly East Asian countries, and one These are the important words in the 186th lesson. Read along with me. 这是第一百八十六节课的重要单词，跟我一起读。Correspond. Correspond. Poet. Poem. Poet. Poem. Following. Following.
Riddle. Riddle. Beast. Beast. Good house, Google. In the 187th lesson, we talked about Tennessee. This is a state in the southeastern region. We talked about the history of Tennessee. The first permanent European settlement in Tennessee was in the late 1760s. During the Revolutionary War, Tennessee was a part of North Carolina. However, North Carolina ceded land to the federal government in 1789 because they couldn't pay off their taxes. Tennessee joined the Union as the 16th state on June 1, 1796. During the Civil War, Tennessee was split because the West wanted to keep slavery, the Middle didn't want to secede, and the East wanted to stay in the Union. Next, we talked about some famous people and famous cities. One place is Nashville, and it is known as the Music City. Finally, we talked about fun facts. One fun fact is that Elvis Presley's home, Graceland, is in Tennessee. Mansudo. In the 187th lesson, we talked about Tennessee. 在第187节课里,我们讲了天纳西州. This is a stay in the southeastern region. 这是东南区域的一个州. We talked about the history of Tennessee. 我们讲了田纳西州的历史. The first permanent European settlement in Tennessee was in the late 1760s. 第一个在田纳西的永久欧洲定居点是在1760年晚期. During the Revolutionary War, Tennessee was a part of North Carolina. 在革命战争时,田纳西是北卡的一个部分. However, North Carolina ceded land to the federal government in 1789 because they couldn't pay off their taxes. 可是在1789年,北卡把他们的一些地给了联邦政府,因为他们不能还他们的税. During the Civil War, Tennessee was split because the West wanted to keep slavery, the Middle didn't want to secede, and the East wanted to stay in the Union. 在南北战争时,天纳西分裂了,因为西边想保留奴隶制,中部不想离开联邦,然后东部想留在联邦。Next, we talked about some famous people and famous cities. 接着我们讲了一些有名的人还有有名的城市. One place is Nashville and it is known as the Music City. 一个地儿是田纳西,然后它被叫做音乐城市. Finally, we talked about fun facts. 最后我们讲了一些有趣事情。One fun fact is that Elvis Presley's home, Graceland, is in Tennessee. 一个有趣事情就是猫王的家, Graceland在天纳西。Here are the important words in the 187th lesson. Read along with me. 这是第187节课的重要单词,跟我一起读。Key Key Disease, disease, audience, audience, earn, earn, guitar, guitar. Good house, Google. In the 188th lesson, we talked about John Quincy Adams. 
He was the sixth president of the U.S. He is the son of America's second president, John Adams. Because his father was an American diplomat, he traveled in Europe and learned French, Greek, and Latin. In 1785, he returned to the U.S. and went to Harvard. Later, he went to Massachusetts to study law, and he became a lawyer in 1790. Before he was president, he served on the Senate as a member of the Federalist Party. However, he later left due to disagreement over foreign policy. In 1817, he became the Secretary of State for President Monroe. Adams urged Monroe to declare U.S. opposition to European colonization in the Americas, and this led to the Monroe Doctrine. Next, we talked about his presidency. As president, he helped create the Most Favored Nation Trade System, which required all countries to be treated equally during trade. Finally, we talked about fun facts. For example, he was elected to presidency despite losing both the popular vote and electoral college votes. Mesudo. In the 188th lesson, we talked about John Quincy Adams. 在第188节课里，我们讲了John Quincy Adams. He was the sixth president of the U.S. 他是美国第六届总统. He is the son of America's second president, John Adams. 他是美国第二届总统, John Adams的儿子. Because his father was an American diplomat, he traveled in Europe and learned French, Greek, and Latin. 因为他的爸爸是一个外交家,他在欧洲旅行了,然后学了法语,希腊语,还有拉丁语。In 1785, he returned to the U.S. and went to Harvard. 在1785年,他回到了美国,然后去了哈佛。Later, he went to Massachusetts to study law and became a lawyer in 1790. Before he was president, he served on the Senate as a member of the Federalist Party. However, he later left due to disagreements over foreign policy. 可是他后来离开了，因为他们对外政策有争执。In 1817, he became the Secretary of State for President Monroe. 在1817年,他成为了门罗总统的国务卿. Adams urged Monroe to declare U.S. opposition to European colonization in the Americas, and this led to the Monroe Doctrine. Adams 督促了门罗宣布 美国是反对欧洲在美洲殖民的，然后这个变成了门罗主义. Next, we talked about his presidency. 接着我们讲了他当总统的时候。As president, he helped create the most favored nation trade system which required all countries to be treated equally during trade. 他当总统的时候,他帮助创造了最惠国交易系统,然后这个要求所有国家在交易的时候是平等的。Finally, we talked about fun facts. 最后我们讲了一些有趣的事情。for example, he was elected to presidency despite losing both the popular vote and the electoral college vote. 比如说,他被选当总统,虽然他输了总票数还有 
选举人票数。Here are the words from the 188th lesson. Read along with me. 这是第一百八十八节课的重要单词，跟我一起读。Canal. Canal. Policy. Policy. Academy. Academy. Technique. Technique. Painting. Painting. Turn out to go. In the 189th lesson, we talked about Halloween. It is celebrated on October 31st. First, we talked about the history of Halloween. It started around 2,000 years ago during the Celtic festival Samhain. This was their New Year, and they believed that the boundary between the living and the dead would be blurred, and the ghost would return to Earth. As a result, they made sacrifices and wore costumes. In 43 AD, the Roman Empire took over the majority of the Celtic territory. The area was Christianized, and two Roman holidays got mixed with Samhain. November 1st became All Hallows Day, so the day before was called All Hallows Eve, which turned into Halloween. It was spread to America during the 1840s. By Irish immigrants, and it was later popularized. Next, we talked about trick or treating. This originated in Scotland and Ireland in the 16th century when people would go around asking for food. It started in North America in 1911 in Canada, and later spread throughout the U.S. Nowadays, kids typically dress up in costumes and go around asking for candy. Mansoulu. In the 189th lesson, we talked about Halloween. 在第一百八十九节课里，我们讲了万圣节。It is celebrated on October 31st. 它是在十月三十一号庆祝。First, we talked about the history of Halloween. 首先，我们讲了万圣节的历史。It started around 2,000 years ago during the Celtic festival Samhain. 在两千多年前开始的，然后这是在塞尔特人的节日 Samhain。This was their new year, and they believed that the boundary between the living and the dead would be blurred. And the ghosts would return to Earth. This is their New Year, and they believe that the boundary between the living and the dead will be blurred, and the ghosts will return to Earth. This is their New Year, and they believe that the boundary between the living and the dead will be blurred, and the ghosts will return to Earth. This is their New Year, and they believe that the boundary between the living and the dead will be blurred. 因此，他们穿化妆服，然后会祭祀。In 43 AD, the Roman Empire took over the majority of the Celtic territory. 在一百四十三年，罗马帝国占领了大部分的塞尔特人的区域。The area was Christianized, and two Roman holidays got mixed with Samhain. 这块地被基督教化了，然后两个罗马的节日跟苏文混在了一起。November first became All Hallows Day, so the day before was called All Hallows Eve, which turned into Halloween. 十月一号成为了 All Hallows Day， 然后之前那天就叫做 All Hallows Eve。然后这个变成了 Halloween. It was spread to the Americas during the 1840s by Irish immigrants, and it was later popularized. 
。他在一八四几年被爱尔兰人带到了美国，然后他后来就更受欢迎了。Next, we talked about trick or treating. 接着我们讲了 trick or treating. This originated in Scotland and Ireland in the 16th century when people would go around asking for food. 这是在爱尔兰和苏格兰在十六世纪开始的，当人们要吃的去。It started in North America in 1911 in Canada, and later spread throughout the U.S. 它开始是在一九一一年在美洲，然后这是在加拿大，然后它后来传到了美国。Nowadays, kids typically dress up in costumes and go around asking for candy. 现在人们会穿化妆服，然后会去要糖。Here are the important words in the 189th lesson. Read along with me. 这是第一百八十九节课的重要单词，跟我一起读。Scotland. Scotland. Mix. Mix. Annual. Annual. Phrase, phrase, advertise, advertise. Now we will be talking about words. 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 Now we will be talking about 然后他们翻译成中文是苏格兰、爱尔兰、波兰、芬兰，还有泰国。Here's an example. 这是一个例子。We traveled to Scotland last summer. 我们去年去了苏格兰。Ireland is really pretty. 爱尔兰很漂亮。The violin, guitar, piano, and drums are all popular instruments. The violin, guitar, piano, and drum 都是很受欢迎的乐器。然后它们翻译成中文是小提琴、吉他、钢琴，还有鼓。Here's an example. 这是一个例子。I play the violin. 我拉小提琴。Guitars are in lots of modern music. 吉他在很多现代音乐里。That's the end of our lesson. We hope you liked it, and we'll be having more. Bye. Bye.